This video is about replacing mains voltage wiring. If you're not confident working with mains voltage wiring, please consult a qualified electrician. The wiring on vintage sewing machines is often over 50 years old and can be unsafe or dangerous. As a collector, I often have to rewire these old machines. This is a typical Singer motor and lamp connected to the plug receptacle. The wires are held onto the terminals by these handy thumb screws, but often they're held on by simple hexagon nuts. As you can see, the wires terminate in these metal rings. Unfortunately, there's no readily available replacement terminals of this type. One simple solution is to just bend the wires around the terminal posts and fasten them up. Although I really don't find this method suitable, there's a chance the wires may come loose or stray strands can cause a short. Crimp connectors seem an obvious solution, but I don't find these secure enough, and when there's more than one wire on a terminal, they can be quite bulky. The solution I've found are eyelets. These come in a variety of sizes, but not all of them are suitable, even if they fit over the posts. Many of these are painted or coated, and won't give a good electrical connection. Some of them are just plain brass or steel. Eyelets and eyelet pliers are readily available. I got this set from my local Wilkinson's for less than £10. And they fit perfectly over the posts. Strip your wire so that you have about an inch of bare wire and twist the strands together. I find it easier to shape the wire around a screwdriver with the same diameter as the eyelet. Then place the wire on the eyelet and crimp it closed. And repeat with the other wires. This gives a secure connection and there's no chance of the wire coming loose. You can fit two wires on one terminal quite easily.
I hope you've enjoyed this quick video. If you have, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of my future uploads. Thanks for watching, 